Hey Canucks fans, it sounds like Brock Besser will be returning to the lineup tonight and the timing couldn't be any better. I'm Clay Emo, I'm at Clay on Twitter, I'm at Clay Emo on Instagram, I'm the founder of the GLCPC, the Good Looking Canucks Positivity Club, and this is my Canucks take, all in one take. It's Clay's Canucks commentary for Tuesday, March the 10th. Bit of a different view today, I wanted to, didn't want to sit in my car to record this, I wanted to be out in the fresh air, so I found a nice scenic spot outside of my office. And thanks again to everyone who joined me for the live stream last night. We moved it from Sunday to Monday. I was traveling home from Nanaimo on Sunday night. We had a great time, my son Sean joined me, talked about the Canucks of course, talked about uh, the coronavirus, that wasn't the best part, talked about uh, Wi-Fi and router issues, and we also talked about some banger dancing. So all those things were led to a very quick 75 minutes or 70 minutes, so I invite you to check out that replay if you have time. For tonight, Brock Besser, all indications pointing to him returning to the lineup to face the New York Islanders. And the timing couldn't be any better. Canucks have only won one in four in these meaningful games in March. They've only won one of the last six. They've fallen out of a playoff spot. They're ninth place in the conference. Only three points back of Calgary, only a couple of points back of Winnipeg, one point back of, or two back of Minnesota and one of Winnipeg or vice versa. Regardless, I've always said, don't worry about the wild card spot, worry about catching Calgary. We're three behind with two games in hand. So the math adds up if the Canucks win those two games in hand. And of course, win their future games against Calgary. So New York Islanders also, same spot, they're ninth place in the Eastern Conference. So never have I remembered a game, such a huge, massive game with big implications as this between two ninth place teams. But basically Vancouver, New York Islanders in the exact same position in their respective conferences. For the Canucks, for Brock Besser, he's been out since February 8th. He got hurt in that game against Calgary of all teams. And they were saying eight weeks, seven or eight weeks, that was the worst case scenario. Jim Benning probably being practical, probably being uh, very conservative. But Brock Besser was telling people, even lowly me at the season ticket member event that, uh, no, I'm not a lowly me. He was even telling me at the season ticket member event that he'd be back for sure before the end of the regular season. And sure enough, here he is just four weeks back, uh, four weeks after the injury as opposed to seven or eight weeks. And it looks like he's gonna line up with Bo Horvat and Tanner Pearson. That's at least the way they are skating this morning. That means Tyler Toffoli stays up on the top line with JT Miller and Elias Pettersson. No problem with that, I'll talk about that in a second. Third line then you have um, Adam Godet with Antoine Roussel and Zach McEwen. And your fourth line, different look now, you have um, Brandon Sutter with Louis Erickson and Jake Furtanen. So an interesting bottom six. Again, Gaudet with Roussel and McEwen on the third line. Uh, um, very, uh, very energy line, a uh, uh, whack'em sack'em line. And the fourth line, maybe a bit of a shutdown line with Sutter and Erickson playing together on that. They've played together a lot before. And then Jake Furtanen joining them. It's kind of ironic after we're talking about all this stuff why Jake Furtanen wasn't playing with Horvat because he wasn't the best shutdown player. But now he'll be asked to play that role with with Sutter and with, with um, with Louis Erickson as well. Then the same deep pairings, you have Tanev and Hughes, Edler and Stetcher, and Fantenberg and Myers. That means Jordy Ben won't play, and that means it sounds like uh, Tyler Mott might not play. Uh, uh, he wasn't even at practice, and ironically on his birthday, no, no less. So happy birthday, Tyler Mott. So I'm fine with Besser starting with Horvat and Pearson. We know that Horvat hasn't scored an even strength goal in a long time. We know that Pearson has hardly any points since the All-Star break. So any player that's not Louis Erickson, quite frankly, and uh, to play on, on that wing, and Besser obviously with his, his scoring prowess and his offensive ability should be able to help out that line a lot. Defensively, he's not better than Erickson, but now maybe the Canucks are gonna go with two true scoring lines to really try and outscore their opponent as opposed to worry so much about the shutdown. And New York Islanders, maybe they don't have anyone as scary as say Nathan McKinnon where you have to really worry about uh, matchups, but we'll see what happens. Uh, things could change throughout the game. Heck, we might even see Bester go up to the top line, take his, his, his old spot there and might see Toffoli drop down. But I don't see that happening tonight. I see for tonight, Besser playing with Horvat and Pearson for the whole game, unless Travis Green really needs to change things up. And then uh, maybe, um, and of course, keeping the, the Toffoli, Pedersen, Miller line together. But I wouldn't be surprised if a few games down the road, a few weeks down the road, if the Canucks do make the playoffs right before the playoffs, you see the swap where Besser goes up to the top line, reuniting the 649 line, and then having Toffoli come down to play with Pearson and Horvat. Obviously, the chemistry with, with Tanner Pearson from before. And actually, I see this happening as well if these two line combos from today don't really work out. If uh, maybe even in game, Travis Green might flip Besser and Toffoli just for a different look. It doesn't matter. I think the most important thing right now is that Brock Besser, all indications point to him returning to the lineup tonight. The Canucks need that offensive um, injection and they need to get some wins. I talked about it on my live stream. They need to get at least two out of the next three games for sure. Um, you know, Islanders tonight, Arizona Thursday, Colorado on Friday, the final two, those two on the road. And the Canucks need about about 18 points in the final 14 games 
That's if they want to hit the 94 point barrier, which I think you need for a wild card spot. However, th things could work out funky, and as long as they work out, uh, as long as they finish ahead of Calgary, that's the main priority: is finishing third in the Pacific Division. Then you don't even have to worry about, about the wild card spots and the wild card points uh, required to, to get one of those wild card spots. So there we go, there we go, Canucks fans. I was going to talk about Bo Horvat, why he should still be the captain, why all this talk about him not being a good captain was nonsense. But I'll save that for another day because uh, this is more positive, anyways. I want to talk about the fact that Brock Besser returning the lineup. Offensive injection, hopefully leading the Canucks to a win. Tonight, I will not be at the game. I'll not be watching the game. Well, I will be, but I'll be. It's Tuesday night, so I'll be bowling. But I'll check in with you right after the game for my post-game vlog. And I'm lining up the next live stream for Thursday night after the game in Arizona. So lots of good things to talk about. Hopefully, we'll be talking about a Canucks win later on tonight. Canucks fans, let me know what you think. Let me know what you think about Bester's return. I'm sure you're you're happy and you're ecstatic. Let me know if you're okay with him playing with Horvat and Pearson to start. Or would you like them to see see him take his, his spot on the on the top line right away and drop him to fully down? And do you anticipate it staying that way for not only this game but for the next few games? Lots to chat about. Leave a comment below. I'd love to read, react, and reply. Subscribe if you like to. Like this video if you like to. Enjoy the day. God bless. Go Canucks. Go.